Hi guys, today is February 17th and it's Sunday and this is a huge bag of clothes that I'm going to bring to work for the girls to go through. Um, I just went through my closet a while ago and I've just had these in my closet and um, I was like, why not bring them to the club for the girls to go through? I could put them in one of those donation things, but I'm sure there's like girls that I work with that could use some of the clothes. They're just gently gently worn and I just don't I don't need them anymore so hopefully you know they go through them and they find some um stuff but anyway I wasn't gonna vlog today but I decided to I feel like that's how I start every single um vlog um I just want to share with you guys like what's going on so Friday I met with the psychiatrist and it went well um I got a second opinion on basically like you know, everything I was diagnosed with back home in Connecticut. And I know if you've been a long time subscriber, then you already know about like my past with therapy and seeing a psychiatrist and being put on meds and all that. So the short story is I was diagnosed back home in Connecticut with anxiety, depression, bipolar, and ADHD. And I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> and I was on meds at one time for all of those things. And I quit my meds like almost two years ago. I think this summer will be two years ago um, because I felt like I didn't need them anymore and I was at a good place and I was at a good place for a while but recently my anxiety has like flared back up and um, not so much the depression aspect of it but just the anxiety. Um, last time back home in Connecticut what initially got me to go get help was depression. I just was sleeping all the time and just like really down and fatigued and I didn't know at the time I thought I was just tired low iron levels but I ended up being actually depressed because of my anxiety getting so bad and not getting help for the anxiety so this time around I was like I know that if I don't get help again I'm probably just gonna fall back into a depression so let's not do that and so I I know my <clears throat> I know myself well enough to know when I need help so I have really bad anxiety right now. So Friday, I had my appointment and told her everything. And she, uh, you know, went through a list of things with me. And she basically said that I fall, like, just below bipolar. Like, I could almost be considered bipolar, but then again, not really. Um, so she didn't give me anything for that. But I did start medication. And I started it. For sleep, I started it Friday night, and then for, like, my daily medication, I started um, Saturday morning. And I've been on this med before. It's just, like, an anti-anxiety and an antidepressant. Um, and I had success with it. It helped me before. So that's what she started me on. And um, I just don't remember having bad side effects, but I'm actually um, having side effects. I don't remember, but this was, like, years ago when I started. This must have been, like... 2014 or 2015 when I was on meds back in Connecticut so I don't I mean that was years ago like I don't really remember like how I how I felt on them but I don't feel good today and I didn't feel good yesterday yesterday I was like really nauseous and upset stomach and like kind of moody like kind of like angry and today I feel like the same way but today I feel even more anxious than yesterday and I'm also tired at work yesterday, I was talking to one of my customers, and he's like, you look like you're about to fall asleep on me. I was like, I just started a new medication, and it's just got me feeling like, uh. So I figured I would, like, document this um, and kind of share, like, my experience and what's going on because uh, it could probably be beneficial to a few people. You know, I don't really disclose, like, my medication information. I'm not going to tell you guys, like, exactly what I'm on. I just don't feel the need to do that. But I'm going to share, you know, my whole experience and stuff. But, yeah, I'm going to go to work today. Today's Sunday. And I'm going to be working tomorrow as well. And then I'll be off Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm trying to hopefully get an appointment to get my hair done um, Tuesday or Wednesday on my days off. Um, I just want it to be, like, blue-black. And then I want to chop my hair. I want, like, a blunt cut. And... <clears throat> I want it to be like evened out because I had an asymmetrical and so now 
obviously it's gonna have to be like the shortest point which would be like here as you can see this side's longer I want to make it just even and I want like a blunt chop so my hair's gotten so long I can't even get over it yeah I'm like tired this sucks I think I was like the weather's really helping just checking in with you guys it's actually pretty decent I got one VIP and there's a birthday party here. So I made a bunch of, I don't know how much it is, but ones tend to add up. So if I had to guess it's 50, but I'm gonna count it and then I'll let you guys know. And then here's the clothes I brought. No one um, has looked at it yet, but there's only a few girls here. So I'm gonna count it and I'll let you guys know what it is. Where are you going, beautiful? Where are you going? Come here, come here. Can you kiss this? Can you kiss this? Oh, she's so excited. Hi. I literally just got home. I'm so happy to be home. I want to take a shower and just chill out. I'm going to order something to eat. Not in the mood to cook. Could cook. Don't want to cook. Not really feeling up to it. Um, on and off nauseous pretty much all day. Um... But it was a pretty decent day at work. I did make $200. I feel like the month of February has actually been pretty pretty good for me as far as like making money at work and stuff. It's been a pretty good month for me, but it did go by super fast. Well, it's not over yet, but it's getting there. Um, but it was a good month for me, so I really can't complain. Um, but yeah, I'm just still nauseous, kind of have a headache. Just want to take a shower. I'm gonna order some Mediterranean food. Um, there's these kebabs that I love they're so good if they're done the right way if they're cooked the right way um, they're like ground beef kebabs and they put like different types of seasonings in them and they're so good so I like the Mediterranean food because it comes with like pita bread and hummus and like a bunch of vegetables and it's like not like super healthy but it's like I don't know I like it I just like the taste to be honest with you so I'm gonna order that off of DoorDash I've been using DoorDash a lot it's a lot cheaper than Postmates but I did order Postmates last night because I didn't want to cook last night either. And Postmates is really expensive, but I did order sushi from this really bomb place in Granada Hills. And it was pretty expensive. It was like over $60. I got like two pieces of salmon, two pieces of salmon be belly, um, two pieces of bluefin. And then I also got filet roll and it came to like $60. So that's a lot of money, but it was really, really good. Um... But yeah, so I'm just going to probably order, then take a shower. So when I get out of the shower, it'll be pretty much like on its way. So I'm going to do that and just hang out. So I just got out of the shower and um, my order has been picked up from the place. It's called Zanku. I think that's how you say it, Zanku Chicken. It's like a Mediterranean place. Um, oh, that's my dasher. Abdul Majid, your dasher. So, it'll be here in like 19 minutes. He's like heading towards Granada Hills. Where is this place? Northridge, I'm assuming. But yeah, sometimes, well, I noticed with DoorDash and Uber Eats, they are DoorDash and Postmates, they don't have a hard time finding me. But when it comes to Uber Eats, forget about it. They like can never find me. Like, I don't know what it is or what the difference is. Um, I don't know if Postmates is more expensive because they pay the people that work for them really well because the people always find me or they only hire people who are like good with direction. I don't know how it works, but Uber Eats, I feel like hires people that have no clue what they're doing. Like it's so frustrating because like for instance, it's cold as hell outside right now and I just got out of the shower and my hair's wet. If this driver can't find me and I have to like meet them outside, that's just a huge inconvenience for me because especially with DoorDash, you tip ahead. You tip them before the food even gets delivered so you have to like pick what tip you want and I always tip well and like if they make me go outside it like irritates me because like I purposely put in my apartment number so that they can come right to the door knock on the door and deliver it like that's how it's supposed to be not this like going outside and meeting them and I'm, I'm literally in shorts too because I'm in my pajamas <sighs> I could rant about that but I won't so I'm just really hungry and I just hope it comes to the door so We'll see how it goes, but I'm going to put Californication on because I love Californication. And I was going to have some snacks. I have some popped chips, so good, but I don't want to, I want to make sure that I eat my food. Like, I don't want to get filled up on snacks, so 
I'm just gonna distract myself by watching California Californication. So my food just got here. Give Coco a bone so she doesn't bug me as much. Take it easy, Cokes. So the good thing about the delivery is it went smooth. The guy had no issues finding me. Okay, so we got the pita bread here. Might have some bread left over, which is cool. Because I got hummus in the refrigerator as well from Target. But this, this is it. Coco, take it easy. How delicious does this look, guys? But this is it. And I don't know what this is. I think this is the garlic sauce. I'm not a big fan of this garlic creamy sauce that they always give you. It's like my least fave, but I do really love the kebabs. These are so freaking good. Oh, so freaking good. I mean, you could dip it in the sauce, but it's like not my favorite. So anyway, I'm going to eat and watch Californication and yeah.